Hello everyone. After the measure angle tool, today let's look at the configurable parameters of measure distance tool. This is a new tool I created recently. You can download it from GitHub. The link is in video description. Just like measure angle, to use the measure distance tool, you switch to edit mode and snap the vertices to the points between which you want to measure the distance. So let me add a mesh and icosphere. I'll turn on X-ray mode and vertex snapping. And now if I select the object and snap its vertices to the vertices of the mesh, then this value will display the distance between these two points. There are a set of options available for the tool. We can set the precision, that is the number of digits after the decimal point. Then the offset distance. This is the distance between the reference line and the measuring line. Then there are a number of units supported. The value can be displayed in meters, in feet, in inches, in feet and inch, like 6 feet, 3.74 inch, or it can even be displayed in terms of vector notation like i, j, k. Then we can set the rotation of the measuring line around the reference line. And then the arrow gap. The arrow gap is basically the distance between the text and the arrows. So I can change that value. Then arrow head length as well as arrow head width, that is the radius of the cone. Then arrow line thickness, can increase or decrease that. Similarly, I can change the connector line thickness and the reference line thickness. Then I can change the text size, increase or decrease the text size. And along with the text size, the arrow length is also automatically adjusted to maintain the gap. Let me turn off X-ray mode and snap to some visible vertices. I decrease the text size and also decrease the arrow sizes. And we can set the text thickness and text rotation. Then the text can be flipped. If it's seen from the other angle, it may help to flip the text. Then the point radius can be changed. Points are basically the dots connecting the reference and measuring lines to the connector lines. We can increase their increase or decrease their radius. Then we can change the material of the text as well as the lines. That's it for now. If you have any queries or suggestions, please leave a comment on this video. Thank you very much.